Listen, man. You old dudes in the community, in my community, specifically Syracuse, New York, you old cats, over 50 plus years old, and still outside in the streets, running around with the youngsters, um, playing both sides of the fence, pretending to be an elder, and then at the same time indulging and engaging yourself in the youth politics and actually being some of the reason, some of the catalyst and ignition behind some of these shootings and some of these conflicts. See, the thing is this, influences can be positive and negative. You understand that when you got children around in a community that's already broken, it's already a fact that that the youth will look up to the streets and the streets will teach them things. You understand? And a lot of times we have brothers and sisters, specifically brothers, who come home and bring things with them from the from the penal system. Or you have brothers who have done time in the penal system and now are living their second and third childhoods through the actions of another youth. You understand what I'm saying? So what happens is, is that when you place yourself as a grown adult elder in a certain environment, you're, of course, you're going to run into conflicts with these youth. And sometimes these old heads have a problem with other people and they can't handle it themselves. So what they do is they play the influence game and put a battery pack in, into a child's back and whisper in their ear and tell them certain things and give them certain history and Blah, blah, blah about how we did it when we was coming up. When we was coming up, son, we would have done it. would have never happened, son. We would have did this and we would have did that. And blah, blah, blah. And yeah, yeah. You're lying, man. Because if you would have did that, you would have did that. And we would know about it. You understand what I'm saying? Because the streets do talk. And in and, and real, and real live, real live street cats have a real live history. You understand what I'm saying? One that can actually be traced and verified. Now, you got a lot of these youngsters who come up on fake, these fake dudes, man. These cats who out here, whatever, doing whatever they doing, and they create a history for themselves. Yeah, they might have done some things and so on and so forth, but they never really move and shook things. You know what I'm saying? So what happens is, is that you got these old men influencing these youngsters to shoot. It is what it is. See, what y'all tend to forget is that children never stop talking. When you got a child... No matter how adverse the condition is, no matter how quick they are forced to grow up and to make changes because of the environment, they're still children. They're still cognitively developing here. So when y'all do things or say things to them, they come back and they talk, man. The children talk, you understand, in this town. And the children are saying that it's old heads out here influencing them to do things because for whatever reason, listen, brother or brothers, if you actually out here on that game, you need to check yourself because, see, the streets are going to check you. The children are going to check you. They're going to realize that you're more of a liability than you are some sort of asset. They're going to realize that you're trying to use them by playing this OG game with them. You, you see what I mean? Not knowing that you are actually trying to fulfill and 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 take care of your business through them. Because you ain't man enough to be able to handle a situation. But listen, you make wrong mistakes, brother. You old men who out here trying to do these things, you making the wrong mistakes. How you out here with a 19, 20 year old girl, man? Trying to regulate her. You almost a senior citizen and you trying, you are a senior citizen and you trying to regulate a youngster who, who hasn't even begun life's experiences yet. And you getting upset? Y'all get upset and want to send people out to harm other people? Send family members out to harm other people? Come on, man. You can't play both sides of the fence. You can't be an elder talking about you got history here and you want to help the babies. And then on the other hand, you outside on the other side whispering in their ear. They talk. The children talk. And they tell who does what and who's who and where is what and so on and so forth, man. Y'all need to stop playing those games. Because, see, those games are going to come back to haunt you. You, it's going to come back to haunt you. In the community, we see what's what. And again, the streets always talk. The children talk, you know, and they talk about the influence or the or the negative influence that's that's put on them by these old heads 
who do it through suggestion. They don't do it really literally like right to their face. They do it around them and they do it through suggestion. If that was man, that, that would have never happened back in our days, kid. That would have never happened back in our days, son. We would have did such and such. They hear this. Yeah, you know I mean, they hear this. They feel like they representing the block that the, this OG came off of or that he was a part of. And now they got to hold it down. And they did something wrong because the OG said they would have did it differently or this would have happened in our time, so on and so forth. So this is what happens. You create the environment for these things to occur. You understand? You get outside and you do certain things. You engage and indulge yourself in certain in certain part in, in, in certain games where you shouldn't be as an elder. In certain places where you shouldn't be as an elder amongst the children, unless you're there to counsel, unless you're there to aid and educate and instruct. That's when you should be in certain locations. But if you're not, if you're there, you, you're just hanging out. And you almost 60 and you hanging out with a bunch of children thinking that you creating some type of um, army out here or something, some type of little soldiers or something that you have at your disposal to do your, your whims and your wishes. It's going to backfire on you because now we see you. We know who you are. And the whole town is talking and you can't get away. You think you're getting away. You think you're getting over. But everybody's talking, man. About y'all, man. About you old heads, man. Playing playing both sides of the fence, man. Trying to be on this side of the fence. Looking like you grassroots and look like you're for your community. But at the same time, you filling the baby's ears up with destruction. <laughs> sitting yourself and sitting them in situations where they can die for you. To handle your situation. Be a man. Elder, old man, whatever they, whatever you want to be called, because you're not elders. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're a danger. You're a liability to our community, man. When you're playing games like this and you need to be dealt with and you need to be checked immediately. You heard what I said. You need to be dealt with and you need to be checked immediately. And I'm sure, and I'm sure that's going to take place very, very soon. And, and in every inner city, take a look at these old heads who's out on these blocks. Because they could be some of the reason why the things are happening the way they're happening, along with other external factors. You understand? So we got to take a look at everything, man. Especially here in my town, Syracuse, I know it's old heads cutting across the grain intentionally. And we're going to see you.